Speed isn't always the key to success, but in Modern Warfare 2, ADS speed is. Today we're going to take a look at some tuning for the guns in Modern Warfare and how to increase your ADS speed and whether or not it really does anything. I'm the older than average gamer. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take uh, an assault rifle here, the cast off 74U. We're going to take it into the uh, firing range. We're going to check the aim down sight speed here. We're going to try to make everything faster for aim down sights. That seems to be what everybody wants the most out of really any of their guns. Um, so we're going to take a look, see how quick it is here. We'll slow it down for you, and then we'll do some comparisons, basically, from each after we add a couple of attachments and tune them. Being that it has a decent aim down sight speed to begin with, a lot of the attachments you can add don't have a base that raises the that ADS a ton. So that's all we're going to do. We're not going to mess with anything else at the moment. We're just going to put that up on anything we can find that helps with that. Um, so we've added that uh, the SA Altered 3. We're adding the marquee of R7 stock. I'm going to tune this down here. We'll also do a 20 round mag. Now, I don't know that I would ever use a 20 round mag just for the sake of, you know, multiple target engagements, but we're doing it today just for the sake of doing it to try to add, make this go a lot high, as high as we can, really. Um, and granted, this one we can't tune, but it does raise things quite a bit, and we really want to see how big of a difference we can get um, out of, you know, uh, aim down sight speeds. The operator foregrip doesn't by itself. Uh, increase ADS, but <clears throat> when you tune it, it is one of the things that you can adjust. So we're going to put that up. And again, it doesn't do a ton here, but it does something um, uh, for this particular attachment. And everything else really um, will can can mess with with your ADS to some extent. So we're going to leave it like that, and we're going to go to the firing range here. So you'll notice that our gun that we've put attachments on and tuned is a little bit faster. However, because of things like aim to fire speed changes based on those attachments, um, it takes just a little bit longer for that gun to fully come into full focus. And the next gun we're going to do is we're going to do a, a standard sniper rifle. The MCPR 300 is what you get right out of the gate when you jump into this game for the first time. So we're going to try to make this thing as essentially as fast as we can. First, we're just going to take a quick peek, see how quick or slow it actually is out of the base level. We're going to put this FSS Merc stock. Now, keep in mind, um, this particular one, I was able to tune stuff on this on this weapon before I had this unlocked at level 28. So uh, be in mind, I mean, this, if you happen to use this gun, but th this is the idea for any of the things that we're tuning here today is to try to increase ADS speed. We're going to go ahead and add that Orca barrel. It does add a little bit and it's still something you can customize. So we went ahead and we took it and we raised it up. I'm going to put this five round mag in again. This is one of the easiest ways to immediately increase your ADS speed. Um, again, you can't tune the mags, but it's still a good thing if you're willing to sacrifice ammunition uh, to get an increase in ADS. And with a sniper rifle, I think I feel like it's well worth it because this is a one shot kill potential uh, weapon. Uh, with the rear grip, putting the cheetah grip on, and we'll tune that sucker right down to the ADS max. And right now, you can see we've added quite a bit here <clears throat> already. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to add this four times optic, which adds a little bit of speed to begin with. Not much, but what we're going to do is we're going to do that again. Nice, we just have been. I'm putting this to far because this, this is something else that's interesting with the, any of the sites really. Going close as opposed to going far doesn't seem to help anything at all, whereas going far at least seems to somewhat incre increase your accuracy. So that's where we're leaving that sucker right now. Let's go take it in the fire range and see what we've done. Now, 
this is a big, big difference. And I've, obviously this is a sniper rifle, so there is a lot more room to, you know, improve uh, your ADS with this kind of gun, but this is a huge difference. So I think this is, this is good to know. Based on just these two very short tests, now listen, there's tons of more of this you could do on your own and really find the, you know, exact amounts that this really works for each particular kind of gun. But this is all I got for you today. Hope this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below if this uh, was something that you're going to mess with a little bit more. Um, and I appreciate you stopping by the channel. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.